We spend a lot of time in our life trying to move the mountain. Sometimes God wants us to climb the mountain. Sometimes there's a lesson in the, in the climb. Sometimes we don't realize how strong we are. But we need God to put us through some difficulties, either to train us up so that we can be stronger, or to show us how strong we really are. The biggest enemy in your life is not the devil, it's you. Because guess what, if you're a, if you're a Christian, you're not a victim, you're a victor. And God has already promised you the victory. God has already told you that you've won because you're seated, in, seated with Christ in heavenly places, hidden with Christ in God, uh, an overcomer, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a son or a daughter of the most high God. How amazing it is that we have an inheritance with him. So you're not a victim, you're a victor. You're an overcomer, you already have been promised the victory in life. The problem is you don't believe it. Problem is, even though it's right outside your grasp, you just gotta grab a hold of it. We believe we're defeated. So instead of fighting, we lay down and give up. We don't even try. God gives us gifts and talents, things to do, a purpose. We say, God, where's my purpose? You know what your purpose is. Most people know what their purpose is. You're just too afraid to stand up and to fail. But guess what? Getting good at anything takes failure. You look at every superstar in the world on any sports league or any sports team, they failed in life. You look at any musician, they have failed in life. Not There are very few people who just woke up as a little boy, little girl, and was a complete prodigy. Very few people in the history of the world. Most people fail, they have to practice. They put in a lot of hours of labor, trying to hone their craft so that they can be wielded as a weapon in the master's hand. You see, God doesn't want it to be easy for you because if it's easy, you won't appreciate it. If it's easy, you won't respect the climb. But see, the ascent up every mountain, it shows you how strong you are. It shows you the fortitude. It shows you the willingness to trust in him. It shows you that you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength and with God, all things are possible. You see, the adventures of the world are all around you. It costs nothing to get outside and to hike somewhere beautiful, to get along with God. That's where Jesus went. He went into the mountains to pray. So we go, we get along with God. Show me my purpose. What mountain do you want me to climb, Lord? There are many obstacles in my life. How do I get over them? How can I trust you? when all I see is doubt and despair, heaviness and overwhelming, uh, just negativity. Maybe there's people around you that criticize, just always saying negative things, making you believe that you can't. What does your Bible say? It doesn't matter what people say. Prove the doubters wrong. What does your Bible say about your life, right? Because the Bible, it's a book to you. It's a love story to you. It's a manual, it's a guidebook. It's a list of principles to stand on. God will show you the way. But if you don't know what God's word says, how can you stand on it? How can you believe in it? How can you trust in it? How can you walk in it every single day? The glory of God. My arm hurts holding this thing. The glory of God can be revealed in your life. You have a calling. You have an anointing on you. You have gifts and talents. Don't waste them, respect the climb. Let him teach you in the difficult moments, the difficult seasons where you're being trained to be hardened in the desert, like the Israelites were hardened in the desert to fight so that they might possess the promise that had been given to them a long time before that. It wasn't easy. They didn't just go in with empty lands and steak dinners prepare for them. They had to conquer the enemy. They had to cleanse the land of sin and iniquity. Then they had to sanctify themselves, consecrate themselves before God, keep the law, respect his, his Torah. There's a lot that goes into it. It's work. It's fighting. It's laboring. We assault the enemy with the word of God, standing on faith, trusting in him. There's power in the name of Jesus. Do you believe? It's up to you. I'll see you in the next one.